Okay, this is a video on how to take some data from a MySQL um, database and make it into a PDF using PHP. Now, I'm going to assume certain things as we start this video that you know how to make a database, how to insert data, that you've done all of those sorts of things, um, that, that we're using um, a local server which is MAMP um, and that you've got it all set up ready to go as a testing website. So I'm going to start right here on um, MAMP. So we'll, I'll just do it very quickly. So you've opened MAMP, you've pressed open um, web start page. It brings you to this page and you've created a new database. Now the database I'm using, I've called it 2PDF, T-O lowercase o PDF. I've then made a table and I've called the table products. And inside that table called products, I've made three columns, one called code, one called name, one called price, and I've filled it up with some data, just some, some make-believe data. I've called it um, just different numbers, a few people's different names, and some different prices in here. Now, what we ultimately want to do is to get this information here and have it print out as a PDF, like an invoice for a business or something like that. So I'll show you the final product, then I'll show you how we get there. I'm just going to go up to my website here and I click on my website and it'll bring me up and give me these files here and we're going to go through each of these files in just a moment. But this is the final product. If I hit basic 3, runs the PDF uh, PHP file and it comes up and it gives me a table. It has the code, has the name, has the price. This is a PDF that can be printed or given to a client or saved or whatever you want. This is a PDF got school logo, school name, that's kind of what we're looking for. Now I've also got a second copy down here, page two. Page two has a colorful table. So I'm going to show you how to do both um, and you can choose how to do it and you can tweak it and do lots of different things um, to get your PDF to look right. So let's get back to MAP. So I've got all my information here in MAP. Now to export this into PD uh, to PDF, we're going to use PHP. There's a website that you must reference that, that um, I've used to, to learn how to do this and that you need to reference if you're using this for your extended uh, for your um, internal assessment. So it's called FPDF Library. The address is fpdf.org.org. There are downloads and tutorials and, and um, other scripts that other people have put on there. You go to this website and you go to the download section. Once you go to the download section, I went to the latest version, which is just here, version 1.8.1, .1, and I downloaded the zip file. Once you download the zip file, it comes in as a, a folder here, and inside that folder are several different files that you need. Now, what I've done is I've copied several of those files out um, and put them directly in the folder and not touched them. So for example, the file fpdf.php you just copy it into your htdocs file don't touch it fpdf.css which is the style sheets for the pdf you put it in there you don't touch it there's a folder full of fonts you put that also into your um, htdocs folder and you don't touch it what we're going to work on are these three files the mysql table the logo.php and the basic3.php Okay, so let's go to brackets and have a look at these files. First of all, the logo is a simple school logo. Let's do that first. Simple school logo opened in Photoshop, saved as a PNG file, and then we just save it into the HD docs and just call it logo.png. You can change that to any logo you like, but you've got to name it logo.png. Okay, then we go to brackets. Now in brackets, here are the two files. This is the first file that I'm going to supply to you that after doing a lot of research I found it um, and I found that it works and essentially what this file does is it sets up the tables for you in terms of the padding, the width, the line thickness, the color of the lines, um, taking the information from the database and working out how to add extra cells, extra width, making sure it fits on the page. This file here you do not need to touch. You need to reference it from fpdf.php, um, that that's where you've got it from. Um, but essentially, you don't need to touch it. You just grab that file. Um, you don't need to know all the code. You just grab it and put it in your HT docs. 
The second file, the basic3.php, um, you do need to know how to do absolutely everything in this file and I've changed pretty much everything from this from this file um, so I'm going to work you through this step by step you do need to know how to do this okay let's start with we open our PHP you know how to do that it says it requires the file mysql table.php to run properly that's the formatting of the tables that's the file we just looked at over here so it has to be in the same folder as that file then it says, um, here's our functions, we're going to go through, uh, this is a class, this, this is a basically a section that runs, that does the process for you over and over again for every line of information that comes back from the database. So we start off with a function um, and this is to create the header. And so this function, essentially this will run every time there's a new page, the function will run again and present um, the header on the top of every single page. This is where we get the logo that we've called logo.png. These three numbers here talk about the size and placement of the logo. Then we set the font size for the writing. It's going to be Arial. It's going to be B for bold and where the size of where it's going to be. This sets up the size of the box that goes around the outside. This also sets up the size of the box and the location of the box that goes around the outside and the padding of the box that goes around the outside. This is the title that goes into the middle. So if we go back and have a quick look at our, at our um, PDF as it's produced, the header is this heading here, this um, heading here, and the box that goes around the outside. And you look, if I go to the next page, it's exactly the same on the next page. So it's going to be the same on both of them because you're setting it up essentially like a style sheet in, um, in the PHP. So this is going to set up the head header. This one sets up the footer, right? which sets up where the, the little page numbers at the bottom, which font you're going to use, which page we're on of which number of pages. So I'll go back, the bottom of the page, it says page number one of two. This one will say page number two of two. So both of those are set up in um, this PHP file, the header and the footer. Now, we do our connect to database. Now, you guys all should know how to do this. We've got, because we're using a local host, local host root, root is our username, password, to PDF. That's the name that I named the database. Then we go down here, and this is where it starts to set up a few interesting things. This one here, the NB, that gives us the second number on our page number. So if it's page one of two, or page two of two, this works out how many total pages there are, and then it puts it it puts it um, onto the bottom of each page inside the footer. This one adds the page at the start, and then when more data comes in, it'll add a new page. So this is kind of how this works. This set Y and set X, that sets the position of the first table. So if I go back to my PDF, it sets from this top corner, that's the position of the table that it's setting. That's the X and Y axis of that table. And then we've got our first table. Now we've already connected to the database here. Here is our query. We've been talking a lot about queries in class. Here is our query. We're going to select the code, the name, and the price from the table called products. And we're going to order it by the code. So it's going to be ordered by the numbering of the code. So if there was codes out of order that they were put into the database, then it's going to put them into order in numerical order by the code. We could order by name, or we could order by price if we wanted to do that. That depends on the query that you want to do. So if you want to do a very simple black and white table, we're using PDF table, which then links back to this MySQL table file and tells how the table is supposed to look. That's what you'll get, a plain black and white table with the headings and the you'll see these are in numerical order and that's what the plain table would look like. That's one option. If you want to do a more complex table, I've added a second table in here with three columns. In this one, we still set it at exactly the same X, Y coordinates, except this time we've added um, some colorful headings, right? So we've added um, the heading code, its location, it's centered, C is centered. The next one is name, um, and I, instead of having um, name I put client name as the header on the top of the next one and then price and you'll notice on the price one I have put R so it's justified to the right so let's have a look at the next table the word price or oh, this one's price is centered but it's supposed to be justified to the right client name and code they go into there let's just have a look at that that R normally would say justified to the right 
Maybe I shouldn't have that comma in there. Okay, we'll leave that for this stage. All right, and the next thing is the colors. It's got three different sets of colors in here. The header color, the color of the body, the next um, color, and then the padding around the outside. Now these colors are RGB colors. So if we go into Photoshop and we select a color, and then if you look at the codes here, there's RGB 21, 91, 196. And if we go back to our brackets, Back here, you'll see 2191196. That's one of the colors that I used. Then it does the same. Make a table using PDF. Find name, price, code, order, um, order the code, and that's how it works. Basically, this this um, PHP file collects the information, connects to the server, collects the information, puts it into a table. The table is predefined by this MySQL table.php, which is a file you don't have to touch. So then if we go back to our brackets, no, no, not brackets, let's go back to our website, let's go back to from where it comes from MAMP, you should have these files in the folder for it to work. basic3.php, the fonts folder, which we downloaded, fpdf, fpdf, the logo that you've created and the MySQL table.php. If you have those files, one, two, three, four, five, and this one six, then you'll be able to make a PDF. It's a complex process. You need to go inside and play with basic three, uh, basic three.php with um, brackets. You need to have a look at it. Once you run it, it can collect information from your database, put it into a table, and you could make an invoice for a client with a logo, with a heading, whatever you want. You can change the style a little bit, page numbers. That should help you out for your internal assessment and your coding and understanding of a query in MySQL.